Everybody who rides knows that once you ride and then you can't, it is the worst thing in the world. That motorcycle is your happy place. There's an old saying, you never see a motorcycle parked outside of a psychiatrist's office. This is the Rizzuto Show Bike Build. I'm Kaylee, and Carlos is my boyfriend. In the summer of 2013, he started complaining of intense hip pain. It was right after his father passed away. He started walking with a cane. Around that same time, we also found out I was pregnant with our daughter. Uh, he went to the VA hospital, he got checked out, and we found out he was diagnosed with a vascular necrosis he's eventually gonna have to have a total hip replacement because of it. And he's already had one surgery, which was a hip core decompression, and that just prolongs the hip replacement. When I first saw Carlos' story, uh, it really jumped out at me. We had plenty of applicants that, that submitted their stories, but Carlos has really spoke to me. Uh, he was a veteran. He, he was dealing with a degenerative disease with his hip. And uh, the one thing that really stuck out to me is Kaylee emphasized that uh, this was his release. This was his uh, happy place. This is where he went to kind of forget about the pain and, and to forget about, you know, as any of us that ride, we, we, we ride to forget about everything around us. It's, it's fun. All right, so we are at Big St. Charles Motorsports and we're here here for the bike build. Now, a couple months ago, we had asked people to nominate somebody who is worthy of having their bike rebuilt for them, whether they be a returning veteran or somebody that's fallen on hard times and their bike has been sitting in their garage just kind of collecting dust and they can't really afford or don't have the means in any way to get their bike rebuilt. So this is really Jeff's baby here. Well, the cool thing is we finally got a bike. We got one here, and we're actually going to go talk to Marshall and the staff and see what we got them into. So we're going to go check out the bike now for the first time. It's covered up. All right, so this is it? Yeah, this is it right here. What I can see doesn't look great. Just right away noticing. <laughs> There's parts of the ground. These aren't supposed like, to be here. These are supposed to be on the bike. Hmm. I'm not a mechanic, but I'm not sure if this is right. I don't think these, I think these are supposed to be in there somewhere. We knew that we'd be getting a project in, but you know, I've never actually had the pleasure of working on a basket case, and this was truly a basket case. Parts were in bins. Uh, there was parts that weren't in the motorcycle that should have been in the motorcycle. Um, all, all of the tins needed to be replaced, the fenders, the gas tank, uh, they, they were just in disrepair. We've all been in this situation at some point in time with a bike, maybe not this bad, but we've been without two wheels and we've had a goal to get it going again. So these guys are passionate enough, just like me, to, to get this thing back to pristine condition and, and get them riding again. I mean, that's what we're about. Oh my God, I don't even know what he's gonna do. He's probably, I don't know if he'll cry. I mean, he's gonna be so excited because that's all he talks about all the time is his bike, his bike, his bike, and what he wants to do to his bike. So nine days, we got something that resembles a motorcycle, kind of, sort of. A little something missing there. <laughs> we have to make sure everything fits first before we can actually go get it painted, get it powder coated, before we get the motor going. So we're just making sure everything fits first and then uh, we'll take it all back apart again. And when I say we, I mean he. All the chrome came back from chrome. What, what, was, what he was having a problem with is one of the valve seats literally dropped into the motor. So you have a valve and seat that's not there. good, right? No, that makes some very nasty noises and makes the bike not want to run. This guy is going to have a brand new motor. He's going to have brand new wheels. We've re-chromed damn near everything on the bike. Uh, Kyle and the guys have been working really hard on it. Um, we're actually that's shaving down. All right. We're actually yeah. shaving down a lot of the tabs and mounts and everything for it. Carlos, don't be a dick when you get this. Right? I thought his name was Jerome. Well, Jerome Carlos. Oh my God, it's a threesome. <laughs> we had to have the frame uh, recoded at Gateway Powder Coating. Uh, just to, it, was, it was just beat up, dinged. Brad Holzhauer at Holzhauer, so they, they did the paint and that, that came down to the wire. But we, we really wanted to, to give something back that would, that would make a statement that would really say, hey, uh, we, we put our hearts and blood, sweat and tears into this. When we did a build like this to give back 100% to, to this guy, to, to Carlos, and say, hey, look, this is what we did for you, 
Um, a, the, the build was really cool. I really enjoyed doing it. And, uh, and B, it was just to really give back to somebody was, was, was a big statement. It was really cool. And it, I didn't think it would affect me as much as it did. And it, and it really did. At the end of the day, it, it stuck with me. It's probably been one of the top, top things I've done in this industry over the past 12 years. No, he has no idea. Tell, talk and it's been bit. so hard to like keep this from him because he says I've been acting funny. <laughs> yeah. You want to just, once we know it's him, because she'll be standing next to him, you just want to say, hey, Carlos, hey, I'm Riz, I'm Jeff. Take a walk with us. Or do you want to say, you want a brand new bike? Let's go see it. I'll introduce myself. And, like, hey, this is Jeff. Thank you, Carlos. And, hey, man, can you come with us for a second? Oh, you're Carlos? Oh, hey, we got something for you. Yeah, you come with us. Oh, that's great. Love it. Hey, are any of you guys, who's Carlos? You're Carlos? Uh, Riz? Oh, right, man. Jeff Burton. That's a Jeff Burton. How's it going? Yeah. We have something for you. What? Come, come. 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 Jeff, you wanna you wanna tell everybody um, Carlos' story here? Yeah, this is Carlos, everybody. Carlos, this is everybody. You have you don't have no clue what they're doing with the bike, do you? No, I don't. He just kind of asked me a couple questions, like, "Oh, what is he like?" And he just quit emailing me after that, so I don't know what he's doing. So, <laughs> so do you have any idea what? Oh, that's, that's about right. That's Sorry, I didn't mean to chip that. I didn't mean to chip that. I apologize. That's, that's a quality product. Um, this is what came off your bike. This is what came to us. Uh, can you imagine at all what we have underneath this cover? That looks like there's a sissy bar on it. <laughs> <laughs> the man would not be a sissy bar. All right, well, you want to see, uh, you want to see your, your new bike? Yeah. <laughs> I think we should make a All right, guys, ready? Three, two, two one. one. Truly, like I seen him at like the lowest like point in his life where he was so depressed, and that bike just like brought the life back into him again. Yep, I know what to do. <laughs> we have yeah. been here before.